have uh, any of you guys seen Amy? Does anybody even know if she's gonna be at school today? I don't know. Honestly, if it was me, I would never come back. That was some serious childhood trauma. Upside, at least she's at home when zombies come for us. What? It's only a matter of time, people. Wow. One day basically ruins your entire life. Walking on sunshine. Hey, Amy. Uh, how are you doing today? Great. I'm feeling great. Really? But how are you doing about the whole thingy thing? What thing? You don't remember what happened yesterday? Did I miss something? Wait, are you telling me? Nothing. Okay. Anyway. Oh, there's the bell. Listen. I have something super exciting to tell you guys, but it's going to have to wait until lunch. So be ready for something wild. Does she seriously not remember anything from yesterday? Well, hey, that could be a good thing. That could actually be the best thing. How is it possible? I mean, the whole school is at the assembly. The whole school. What was she thinking asking up Brad Richards like that? Seriously, he totally destroyed her. Yeah, um, I, I think I'm gonna go catch up with her, but I'll find you guys at lunch. Well, well, look at this. Amy, no. They were really smiling and looking at me. I'm flushing. Forbidden love, tragic love. Juliet loves Romeo, yet she cannot be with him. Why? Yes. Well, because Romeo's a Montague and Juliet's a Capulet. The two groups don't mix. One is cool, one is not cool. I'm not so sure it's a uh, question of one being cool, one not being cool. More so, it's like Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. There's a reason they're not together. But Juliet can be with Romeo. True love can break all boundaries. I mean, isn't that what the play is about? Otherwise, he would have called it Stick to Your Squad. <laughs> <laughs> I've never said a funny thing in class before. I think Shakespeare would agree with you on that one. But although love finds a way, it's beautiful in its poetry, yet tragic in its finale. It's bad. How bad? Class three outbreak? Totally unprepared. All I have is this pencil. No. No, I mean Amy. Like today in English, everybody was laughing at her. It was awful. Well, how did she take it? Actually, surprisingly well. She seems to think she's Miss Popularity now. Really? Honestly, I just think we need to get inside her head. What's up, party people? I've been waiting all morning, so here's the tea. Every period D, just after lunch, Brad Richards hangs out with Chad Gitchards in the library. Well, I've been thinking, since there's been so much buzz surrounding me around the school lately, that it's perfect timing. Today, I'm going to skip band in period D to go ask out Brad Richards. What? Yo, man, guess what? What? Kelly Chambers asked to wear my jersey at the game on Friday. Really? Because Julia's been bragging about wearing it all week. Hey, man, gotta give the ladies what they want. And coach always gets me extra jerseys anyway. I can roll one too, right? The lucky one? Of course, man. Bros, bros. Sweet. Hey, can you throw that out in your way? Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's not even mine. It's not even garbage. It's recycling. Looks like we got a wise ass, Chad. Now pick it up, throw it out before I hurt you. In the recycling, 
Oh. Brad! You are such a great role model for our younger students. You're a champion of the school and the environment. Keep up the good stewardship. Thanks, Scully. And you, young man, next time you think about throwing out your trash, it can be used for recycling. Oh, bro, Miss Color thinks your name's Stuart. Keep up the good work, Stuart. Oh my god, don't be an idiot, Jack. <laughs> okay, so I found this great book on neurological activity, and it seems the reason that she doesn't remember anything is because she was so traumatized that the hippocampus in her cerebral cortex was wiped out the whole moment from her memory to protect her. So what you're saying is that her hippocampus is whack? She has a hippo wackus? She doesn't even remember what happened. Well, then we need to stop her from asking out Brad Richards again. She could be caught in some sort of blackout cycle, pushing her memories further and further into recesses of her mind, causing a mental black hole and the start of a zombie apocalypse. Okay, too far. We just need to make sure that she doesn't ask out Brad Richards again and we can unwhack her hippo. Hey guys, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation and I just wanted to let you know we have a really large selection of books on the hippopotamus. Okay, thank you. The frontal lobe of the brain controls important cognitive skills in humans, such as emotional expression, problem solving, language, memory, judgment, sexual behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, if this is about viruses or if zombies are going to eat your frontal lobe, the answer is no. Um, if someone experiences trauma and their hippocampus thingy blacks itself out, can they get their memory back? Well, sometimes yes and sometimes no. If they witness an event or have a heightened emotional activity again, it's possible to bring that memory back into their consciousness. The temporal lobe, on the other hand, is where Sound is Can you imagine if someone was so horrified by what they witnessed that they lost their memory entirely? Uh, yeah, I have a pretty good idea what that looks like. Here, take these 40s. Have a break. Oh, thanks, man. Yo, remember that girl that asked you out yesterday? Oh, uh, what's her name? Amy? Yeah, that's it. Man, she's so pathetic. <laughs> yeah, you got that right, bro. Yo, you see this kid? Did you know him? Hey, buddy. You like eavesdropping, don't you? Hey, Brad was talking to you. Yo, it's that geek Blake. He's friends with that Amy chick. Your weird friend Amy actually asked me out the other day. It's kind of sad. Couldn't really hear what she was saying over all the sobbing before she ran away. Yeah, that's a good try. I got one better. Oh. So good or no good? So good, man. Comedy gold. What's going on here? Blake LeMay. Well, it serves you right for starting a fight with Brad Richards your phone away. What do you think this is, a concert? Get up. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all good. Okay, we're gonna go to the office. You too, Brad. apocalyptic virus. Well, how do we stop it? You don't. You just grab some food and water, go into a bunker, and wait it out. Have you guys heard what happened? Yeah, Brad beat up Blake. Yes, that's unfortunate, but they were fighting over me. 
Can you believe that they would willingly put themselves in danger just to defend my honor? It's, it's, it's unbelievable, really. It's pretty like a necrotizing virus. It makes everyone go crazy. Call it what you want, but I call it love. And it's infected both of them. Amy, Jamie's right. People are starting to really get hurt. We need to stop this. Stop it? This is nature. Sometimes our feelings as adolescents get the better of us. Amy, the way you're talking right now, you'd be zombie bait in my book if the end were to come today. I get it. That it may be hard to accept the fact that one of your closest friends has elevated themselves to a higher social circle. But the least you could do is be happy for me instead of being so, so obviously jealous. Blake, this is ridiculous. Starting a fight in the weight room? I have to step in for the safety of our school. You're gonna be suspended for two days. What? That's right. Get your stuff. Ah, uh, tough break. Now Brad, being a leader in this school, I'm disappointed that you would get yourself mixed up in this kind of garbage. Absolutely, you know, it was a really dumb decision of me to make. I won't make it again. That's what I like to hear. I'll try to be a better ambassador for the school. Look, I just would like to look at this as a little mistake. You have a long record of being an exceptional student at this school, and I would hate for one little slip and for me to overreact. I'm going to give you an official warning. No more fighting. Definitely. Good. Now. You were talking about being a good ambassador for the school. As you may or may not be aware, my sister has a small photography business and she has been asked to do some photography for our outreach program. And I was thinking a good looking kid like yourself with that charming smile, would you be interested in a modeling job? The pay is good and all you have to do is look good. That sounds great. That sounds like an awesome opportunity. Excellent, that's what I wanted to hear. Now, you stay out of trouble. Head back to class. You got it, Mrs. G. Hey. You know, I... I am sorry for what I said earlier about you guys being jealous. I was just hoping you'd be more understanding, but maybe I haven't explained myself enough. All my life, I've been boxed up into this one category. Don't I deserve room to change? So what if I ask out Brad? I've spent too long caring about what other people think, and not enough time truly being myself. I'm not that shy little girl anymore. I'm, I'm done letting other people's opinions dictate my life. But are you sure that Brad is the one that's for you? I mean, Brad's charming and confident, and he's not afraid to speak his mind. And I mean, have you seen him? He's pretty cute. <sighs> Ames, I just don't want you to get hurt. You know, you're my best friend. Thanks, Gwen. You're my best friend, too. Mr. J actually offered me a job. So, you beat up a nerd and got a job for it? Yeah. I'm basically the king of this school. You can do anything and get away with it. I practically run the show around here. That's so cool. Yeah, your eye does look pretty bad. Getting suspended for beating up Brad Richards is pretty badass. What, is that supposed to make me feel better? Oh, for God's sake. She's gonna go do it right now. Amy, wait. What? Are you sure you wanna do this? I know you're trying to help me, but I need to do this. Okay. Just as long as you know what you're getting yourself into, I guess. I do. I'll be fine. That's so cool. I know. 
Oh, look who's here. <laughs> what, you want to ask me out again? Again? Brad Richards, I can't, I can't hide, hide my feelings, feelings anymore. anymore. Will you, Will you go, go out with me? This should be good. You didn't get enough the first time around, hey? So what, you want to ask me out? You want to go out, huh? So what, so what, you, you want to go, go out, out? Huh? huh? You want to kiss, kiss me? me? <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> oh my god. How dare you? What is wrong with you? A decent person would be flattered that someone wants to ask them out. How dare all of you? I take a chance. And instead of empathizing with me, you choose to sit there and you laugh? What is wrong with you guys? You all suck. And you, dick face. Just because we're not on the same level, that doesn't mean you get to treat me so horribly. That's a nice speech, loser. Roasted and toasted, my dude. Just like a marshmallow. You're still a nobody, and you always will be. You're an asshole, Brad. <laughs> So much for that charming smile, hey? That was a pretty nice hit, though. Shut up, Chad. So, Blake, were you standing up for me today? Yeah, but I don't have your left hook. I threw everything I had at Brad, and he just laughed it off. So, Blake, do you have feelings for me? Well, I was thinking of asking you out, but you won't punch me if I do, right? No, I wouldn't. Uh, guys, I think we have a bit of a problem. help but overhear that there are zombies outside the school and I wanted to introduce you to our really wide selection of literature on surviving the zombie apocalypse. Oh thank god. 